Hey guys, it's 6 one Shadow. Welcome to my anime review, full anime review for No Game, No Life. Now before I start, th those of you who may be wondering who have seen this in, in the past, you may be thinking, but wait, this is a, this anime is two years old. Well, for anime reviews for right now, I'm going to, well mainly anime reviews, I'm going to be doing them for ones that I have seen. So I just finished watching this one about a week ago, and I wanted to do a review on it. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to post a review on my birthday. So yeah, when you're seeing this, it's my birthday. It's also when I'm recording it, I'm recording it, and uploading it the same day, so happy birthday to me. But um, before, before I start the review, obviously, if you don't want to be spoiled, I'll leave the Kiss Anime link to the sub so the subbed version and the dubbed version. This show has received both a sub and it has received a dub as well as the sub version. So, but I had only seen the sub. I have not seen the dub. I've seen I've listened to parts of the dub. I don't think it's that good, so I probably won't watch it. I'm not sure if it's Funimation topped or not, but it didn't sound like it was that good. So I think I'll just stick with the subbed right now. But so spoiler warning out of the way. Let's get into the review. So I have, unlike Dagashi Kashi with that terrible, terrible ending, I have nothing really. I really don't have anything bad to say about this anime. But this this anime really tur really piqued my interest when I saw it. I saw I saw a couple of a little like vines of it, watching like anime vines. And I was like, all right, let's get this anime, no game, no life. It sounds like it could be something. I started watching it. And I felt, I pretty much fell in love with it. The character, the characters are pretty, are pretty great. Especially, um, well, actually, not really especially because all the characters have their own special funniness about them, like their own special thing about them. Like how, like how Sora is the introverted Sora. He's the guy in the yellow shirt. He, um, well. Of course, you would know, but of course, refresher because it's two years. This anime is two years old, but um, Sora, he's like the he's the guy who's like, oh, I'm an, I'm like an introvert gamer, and I don't get any I don't get any girls, and then his sister is the introvert gamer. His sister Shiro, who's also the introvert gamer, um, that he is, who's she's a lot smarter than him, yet despite being younger than him, and she's and she has like it seems like she's a bit emotionless, but. Not really, not not Sonozaki level from Kiss Naiver, but her voice seems kind of kind of emotionless. Then, so onto some of the funnier characters. You have like uh, Stephanie Dola, who is on the far left. How she how at the beginning of the series, Sora's the, Sora's um, wager that if he won the game, which or it, Sora's one favor because he got a favor from winning a game against her was for her to fall in love with him. And apparently, the Ten Covenants like bounded her. She felt she felt bounded by them, so she acted like she was in love. But then she started she trying to fight it. It's pretty great. Stephanie's definitely a funny character. And then, um, yeah. And then Jubril, forgot her name for a second. The Flugel, Jubril. She's like, she's like all encompassing. No, she likes a lot of knowledge and stuff. And what? And it's. And she's an odd, she's an odd character, definitely. She whenever she whenever she's something's like really 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 piqued her interest, she'll start like drooling. And also, she has the ability to fly, so that and she apparent and after a game, that she lost to of course the blank Sora and Shiro, they um, she became the, she became Sora and Shiro's servant. So yeah, she just becomes a servant. That's her role, but she does she she does do some stuff. But those are the main characters. I don't don't want to really go too much in depth because it's a review. So time to go into like more of my opinion based stuff. So too bad it's really bad the the anime is only twelve episodes. We're waiting for season two because I'm pretty sure season two is confirmed. I what based on what I read, I read that season two is confirmed. Well, we're not sure it's confirmed, but um, we're waiting on the light novels to be made, but by the creator. It said that I read the light novel. The light novels are made like, or one is published like every six months. So they do take a bit of time. That's why we're waiting for a second season instead of putting in filler, which is, you know, good because not all filler is good. Like, um, like all of you guys who out there, I don't follow it, but I know how bad it is. Um, all of you out there that watch Naruto, Naruto filler is terrible. So I'm glad that they aren't putting in filler for, th uh, they aren't like making like a filler season for this. That's a really good thing. Because filler seasons are just not going to advance the plot or anything. So, yeah, overall, this, if we're going to talk about 
so then I want to talk about the story and the plot. The story and the plot, the story, like the plot, all that kind of stuff, it was really good in this anime. I really liked how these two gamers who are better than everyone in the human world got absorbed, got sent into a different world where everything is based upon games. That was a really good, I really liked that concept, definitely. It was something that really hooked me, hooked me on to the series, and I, j I, I really liked it. it. This was a great anime. Watch. This, this is probably the fastest I've watched an anime. I watched this. I watched No Game No Life in about three days. I watched. I remember. Start, I got. I saw like a couple episodes the first day, a couple the second day. Then I just binge watched the rest of them in on the on the third day, and I just finished watching this anime. Cause it really hooked me on, and I'm gonna be really excited to see season two. Depending on the upload, depending on where we're at as a channel for when season two of this comes out, I I may review the episodes unless I'm doing another anime episode, another um episode reviews for an anime. But um yeah, it's, it's all really gonna depend on timing and such, based on the current upload schedule. Because I uh up, because I'm gonna obviously be changing my upload schedule for school and for summer because summer I'll have more recording time because I'm at home all the time and then summer and then, and then during school I won't have as much time because I have uh, deal with like homework and such so hopefully when season 2 comes out I can make a um rev I can review episodes for this but for right but for right now I don't know yet because th this anime is re is now like one of my favorite is now one of my favorites like I started watching episode one, and then I started watching anime. Okay, this is good, but now watching the entire thing, it's making it one of my. It makes it one of my favorites, and that's just really something that um, was well, not really that hard to do because I haven't seen too many. This is probably like my sixth or seventh anime. I'm too lazy to count right now, but definitely one of my favorites now. And I feel like it's gonna stay one of my favorites because I've always had an I've always had an interest in video games and. This being about games, especially the final, the pretty much final battle of this, of season, if season one of No Game No Life was the, was a video game, kind of like it, it reminded me of Sora Online because they hooked up to a thing and then they went to a virtual world, so it kind of reminded me of like Sora Online how they went to the virtual world, and I really like that because Sora Online again is another one of my mo most favorite animes. So um. Yeah, and then the ending. The last thing I want to talk. The I want to talk about before I give an overall rating for this. For the ending, I, per I personally, um, well, of course, everyone who loves the show hates a cliffhanger, and of course, I was kind. Of, I I've had a moment when I saw that when I saw the cliffhanger. You know, when they summoned Old Deus, and yeah, when they summoned Old Deus, and they um, and they were gonna challenge Old Deus to a game. And then the end of the episode, I, I had a bit of a fit, but you know, you know, who can, who can blame them? The real people and like that. But definitely, I like I like how the ending, how they went, how that was a plot twist. How the where are the where beast? I believe it's a, is where beast or war beast. I can't remember, but I'm just going to call them where beast because that's what I've been calling them. The where beast, their leader is one of the is one of the like 18 X seed. It was 18 or 16 X seeds. And it turns out she was rank one at Old Deus, which is basically like a god. So they had to challenge this god, this pretty much god to it to a game. And I wonder what game they're gonna do, honestly. It's gonna it's gonna be pretty great. And uh, I wonder how long it'll go to. I feel like this can go for probably like three or four seasons, depending on it, because I because this because if it goes on like that, if it's that popular, it'll have a clear it has a clear ending of. The blank Sora and Shiro challenging the God of Play Tet, because that's what their whole goal is. Because their goal, first their goal was to become the um, to become the king and queen of humanity or humanity, which they did, and then they have to go through because basically their logic, which is uh, which is which is exactly right, based on Tet, he to they have to conquer all sixteen races, and. And then having conquered all sixteen races, that gives them the right to challenge God. So, so basically, if they, um, if they conquer all of the all of the races, then they'll be able to. Then they have the right to challenge Tet if they have all of those races under their um, under their rule. So that'll definitely be the ending. But I, I'm I'm just really hyped. I've know I've gone on a couple minutes in this at least talking about the future for this anime, but. 
it was a really, really good anime. So if I were to give it a final rating out of five stars, I would give it a 4.5 star. Actually, not 4.5. I would give it, you know, I give it like a 4.9. The reason 4.9, not five, was because some because some of the things that could have been bet there's like really one episode. There's just one episode. It wasn't like Dagashi Kashi ending level because that was just terrible. But there's just one episode. It just felt felt like it didn't fit. It felt like it didn't fit throughout the entire episode until the end where it showed how it fit. So I feel like that was unclear. You need, you know, should I give four point? Now I'm debating whether I should give it a four point nine or a five. I feel like I'm gonna give season one. Actually, you know, I'm gonna give season one a five. This guy, this guy at five stars. It was a great anime. It was a great anime. I really have nothing that's wrong. I have nothing bad to say about it. like the anim- the art style was nice. The story was really good. Animation was good. There's just nothing bad about this anime, and I can't wait till season two. It's gonna be great. But anyways, that's gonna be it for my no game no life anime review. Thank you all for watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And let me know two things. First, what you thought of No Game No Life. If you've seen it, and if not, watch it and then let me know. And then second of all, what other anime should I review? Or should I watch the review? I'm definitely open to suggestions. I'll try the animes. And of course, if it doesn't stick with me, like if it's not something I want to watch, then I won't watch it. For example, like the anime that's all the buzz right now, Boku New Hero um, Academia. I started watching it. It didn't really stick, you know? Like It seems like it's okay, but it didn't really stick. Maybe I'll watch it in the future. But anyways, I'll see you all next time.